Hello everybody and welcome back to another Skusex video. Today we're going to be playing a game. A game which has come up on the hot list, come to my attention, and one which I am super excited about. I present to you Riddle School by Python Programming. And man, this looks good already. <laughs> so, I have not played this yet. I've intentionally saved it for this video. Um, I apologize if you can't see my cursor. The cursor in the game has been completely replaced by this little black circle, which way isn't big enough. I'm just going to quickly see if I can make it bigger. Uh, ellipse, mouse, X, there it is. Okay, wait, I can fix this. Usually I don't play with people's code, but in this case I kind of I kind of need to be able to see what I'm doing, but... Okay, Riddle School by Python Programming. So we can start game, instructions, or credits. I like to go to the instructions screen first. It says, first click on the back button at the bottom of the screen. Then click the start game button. <laughs> oh, Python. Uh, credits. So I'll clap our hands to Python Programming for, for making every line of code in this program. Just kidding, you don't have to do that. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, actually, I'll leave the credit screen up for a bit. So, thank you to all these people. I don't like how the... This is a little pet peeve of mine. I hate it when people make it so that their text leaks off the edges of the screen because it's so easy to fix if you could just take the time to properly do it and not rely on fonts. Anyways, um, enough about the pet peeve. Let's start this game. Hi, I'm Phil. You just made a big mistake. No one in their right mind would want to enroll in our school. That's what you did when you clicked Start Game. Nice going. Anyways, now that I have you here, you can help me escape. Thanks, I appreciate it. So when you go in, click around and gather clues on how to escape. Oh yeah, because you're new here, you must listen to what I say. It is very important that you listen to this rule. Okay, with that out of the way, have fun. Click Spacebar to enter school. And welcome to school. So... Our little guy here, Phil, says, Whenever you click something, I will say something in a word bubble like this one. When you finish reading it, click the word, bu word bubble to close it. You must do that. This is our school. Okay. So I've, I've done the, um, I've done the, uh, uh, do I remember from the demo version how to properly play? I, I remember. Yeah, that's my locker. I might have some stuff that can help us escape. Me and that locker go way back. Oh, were you expecting a story? Well, sorry. I'm not in the mood. Let's just focus on escaping. Yeah, that's right, because you have a quarter in the locker. A quarter. Yeah, I knew that was there, but I don't think it'll help much, unless we need to bribe someone. Haha, <laughs> why would we need to do that? I'll keep this quarter in my inventory. If you want to access it, click the inventory box That's that it's in. What's up with Mr. Kahim? That's Mr. Kahim's classroom. Once, in fifth, fifth grade, I poured maple syrup on his chair. He doesn't really like me. I would like to stay out of that room. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so far, um, initial thoughts on the game. The um, This game is a beauty in that it's extremely detailed, um, considering uh, most Khan Academy games. So you can see, like, I go over things and, like, little text pops up. That's not easy to do, so... Good job, Python programming. You're already amazing me. Oh yeah, that's Miss Quinn's all-time favorite poster. It was meant to be a funny poster, but she actually believed it, and now that's her favorite hang. She's my math teacher. I feel bad for you, because your school is terrible. Hey, you can't come here without a hall pass. As a hall monitor, I must abide by all school rules. No exceptions. Go back. Nothing you can do will change my mind. I have an iron will. I won't be shaken. Well, can't we just give you this? Here. Here, Sam, take this quarter. Now get out of here. Typical Sam, easy to be bribed. So let's see what is here. Cheat codes are in the code if you're having trouble beating the game. But come on, at least try. All right. Well, so far, so good. Um, I guess we've got Mr. Quinn's classroom. Wait, hold on. Was it? Wait. Wait, hold on. There's there's a uh, continuity error. This The door says Miss Quinn. But the text says Mr. Quinn. Uh, uh, what are you doing in here? Choose one answer. Um, what are you doing in here? Someone set the cafeteria on fire. Isn't it class time? 2 plus 2 equals 5. This is the person who did 2 plus 2 equals 5, right? 
Correct! Here, take this dollar as a reward. No, please, go, I have to prepare for my next class. Sweet! Well, we just got a free dollar. Um, I guess it popped up in the second inventory slot, so I guess each inventory slot is devoted to one item in this game. Uh, so that's good to know. None of those are your locker, okay. Mr. Kofi's classroom. Lights are off. Mr. Kofi must be sick today. That's a relief. He doesn't like me at all. I shot a rubber band at his face once, and he dropped his cup of coffee on his grade sheet in front of the class. Nice. Okay. Girls' restroom, boys' restroom. Um, and then there's event, which I can click on. There's a roll of toilet paper in there, but it's impossible to get without taking something to take, take the vent cover off. Got a screwdriver? I could use it. Well, we'll find you a screwdriver. We have Mr. Sum's classroom. <laughs> He's asleep. Uh, oh. Hey, guess what? There was a plunger in there. <laughs> Alright, uh, glasses. We should probably get those as well. All in all, pretty normal classroom. There's a vending machine. There are only cookies in there, unwrapped. That's so gross. I don't know how sanitary that is. I wouldn't buy it. It's a dollar. What a ripoff. <laughs> mm. hey, Chad. Chad is blocking the door to Mr. Grad's classroom. A little background on Don Chad. He loves eating. I know, it's a shocker, right? Well, um, boink, we just got cookie. <laughs> All right, well, so I'm thinking that we take Chad and we give him a cookie. Want this cookie, Chad? Then move out of the way. Yeah, that's very helpful. Thanks, I hope that, that was worth a dollar. Mrs. Grad, I'm busy right now. Please go. Uh, okay. Wait. Okay, it is Miss Grad. Okay, I was curious whether it does Mr. Everything. Let's try and not miss anything in these parts of the school. Before we go over there, we need to be to get everything from here. You get what I'm saying? Good. Is there something that we can do here? But, uh, wait, hold on. Can I, can, I, can I give you glasses? Mr. Sum was looking for his glasses, and I found them. Oh, Miss Grad went to take it back to him. Oh, hi, Mr. Janitor. You want me to get to class now? No, fine, I'll go. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Give, give. You found my plunger. Thanks, kid. Here, let me write a note to the principal. He'll give you a free homework pass or something. Now, I have some work to do, so click the red circle with the arrow in it. Bye now. Oh. Hey, we got a little emoji thing. We, we have a note with an emoji in it. That's great. I just realized. I forgot to turn my lights on. Hang on. Anyways, I know Riddle School is based off of an actual series of games, but um, I've never actually played them, so this is quite cool. Anyways, cafeteria. Oh, no. No way. You can't make me go in there. No way. Why? None of your business. Let's move on. Okay. I'm Principal Brown. Um, get out. I'm very busy, so please just leave. Here. T take the note. Principal Brown went and took the note to check if the janitor actually wrote it. You and I know the truth. Unfortunately, for cough unknown reasons, Principal Brown doesn't Trust me. Yeah, I bet. That's a door. It's the only way to get out. Unfortunately, it's locked. Wait. Can I... Wait. Six and a half hours later. Did, did I... Wait, wait, wait. I can... <gasps> There's a key! Yes! That's a door. Use the key. And we're free! Is that it? Is that it? Did I do it? Phil enjoyed a few hours of freedom. He realized he would have to go back to school the next day and escape again. He pondered the pointlessness of the situation. Then he realized he didn't want to go to school ever again, so he didn't. The next day, he stayed home. And the next, until one day... Wait, what? You've got to be kidding me. I refused to go to school. The police came and put me here for truancy. They weren't really paying attention when the police were talking to me. I don't know how long I'll be in here. Uh, wait, is is this is there gonna be a sequel or is this just, or is this is this just, or is there gonna is there gonna be a second game? To be continued. Okay, so I think we've reached the end. All right. Uh, let's see. What are my thoughts on this game? So. Thanks for playing. Had a lot of fun making a game, and hope you enjoy playing this. Subscribe to me. Some more games by me. Python programming. Okay. All right. So let's see. Python programming. How was your game? That was fantastic. Uh, this was incredible. Um, 
Uh, my only p pet peeves are, of course, the uh, the tiny mouse, which I adjusted the size of. Um, but I mean, th that's that's nothing. And besides, I made it bigger just for the just because video quality stuff. I, I love it when people can combine great graphics with fun gameplay in a creative way. And this is definitely a great example of that. I know this is based off of an original Riddle School series, and I haven't, I don't think I've actually played Riddle School properly, but I've seen, um, I've seen like some YouTubers play it, and it looks really fun, and this looks like you did a great job of replicating it. And I'm really impressed with all of the graphics quality that I got from this, uh, and how everything worked so fluidly. No bugs, except uh, there was the one thing with uh, Mr. versus Miss, but uh, all in all, great job, had a lot of fun. Uh, definitely would recommend this to anyone, and definitely voted it up. See, yeah, I voted it up a while ago. <laughs> um, I preemptively voted it up because I knew it would be so good. <laughs> so yeah, um, this has been Skews. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching my little video. This has been Skoos, and uh, I will see you all next time. You know, I've always thought that we needed some proper Khan Academy memes, so here you go. I swear, I've, I've got to get some kind of a medal for most awkward outros ever.